Welcome to Outdoors for Adventure. In this video, we are reviewing and using the Saker Plus Car Vacuum. Don't have to worry about plugging a cord in with this small handheld vacuum. It has high suction and is a 3-in-1 mini portable vacuum cleaner for home, office, kitchen, and cars, campers, you name it. I even found uses for it while we were on the campsite. It has vacuum, blow, and pump functions all in one. The mini vacuum cleaner integrates vacuuming, blowing, and pumping functions in one device. Hello and welcome to our channel. This is Tim with Outdoors for Adventure. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please go hit that subscribe button. And we are going to get into this new product that was sent to me by Saker. Saker Plus 3-in-1 Vacuum Cleaner. HL-122. Rechargeable 2500 milliamp battery Let's see what's in the box it's very small have a carry bag to keep everything together then we have some attachments for the vacuum This is the filter. Another bag of attachments. That's for getting in those hard to reach places. This can also be used as a, uh, not only suction, but to blow stuff up. There's your valve to blow up air mattresses and such in different types another one for getting in those hard to reach places for the vacuum you got a little brush another little brush here's your charge cable And then the unit itself, it already has a filter in it, so that filter that I showed you earlier is an extra one. It's very small. I'm sure I'm going to have to charge this up. There's the plug to charge it. It's got a green light. There it goes. So it has some charge already. So let's take... I'm doing this with one hand, so bear with me. This attachment and slide it in here. And as you can see, I've got some dirt. Looks like one speed, two speed.
process two speed you can see the stuff it's collecting inside there so let's add this brush attachment I think it'll slide over this and let's see if it'll get a little more of the it got all the loose dirt up but some of this is kind of like it was wet stained on there let's just see if it'll change anything So I normally would have just took that carbon mat out and hosed it off, but I was just trying to show you that it'll pick stuff up, and I haven't even charged this yet. But it will reach down in tight spots. battery's going dead so i need to go charge it and we'll experiment with this some more and i'll show you some of the uses that this has that we'll use it for and show you how it airs stuff up now it just untwist To get to the container and then that filter just pulls out and you knock it off and you see all the dirt down in there drop some down in the box you dump it out And go again after you clean your knock your filter off a little bit so we'll get into this some more later uh, I can see this being used in our camper in our vehicles quick cleanups clean out drawers air up your air mattresses and we'll do all that later so stay tuned
This video is about the 3-in-1 vacuum cleaner by Saker Plus, model HL-122. The vacuum comes with all these attachments. It even comes with a spare filter. I have some coffee grounds, some hair, dog hair, leaves, dirt, paper, dirt leaves, dog food laying on the table. I uh, am cleaning up our camper. We have just returned from a camping trip this past weekend and uh, these are some of the things I found on the floor. I actually have to clean up a mess of coffee grounds in one of the drawers that accidentally got spilt. We'll use that for that too. Um, on our camping trip I had lit a fire and the fire had died down and wasn't really burning anymore so I used the blower function of this to relight that fire get it going again just by blowing air on it. I put that clip in this video too. It comes with a nice manual that tells you what all the attachments are for. I'll add pictures in this video. This product was sent to me by Saker Plus for a review and use video. I have used it to vacuum some in the Jeep and for this size, this is the vacuum part that just twists on here. First let me show you the filter just pops in there. This is going to twist on and then your, if you want attachments, they'll slide in right here. And then you have brush attachment that will go on there. If you need to get some dog hairs, dust, broke loose, you can use that brush. For this here, I'm not really going to need any attachments. You have this type of attachment too for a broader area. But for this, I think all I'm going to need is just the vacuum itself. It's a two-speed. You push and hold to turn it on. Push it again for high. Let's do the hard one first. As you can see, it picked it up, and I have not recharged this since we've been camping. I, like I said, used it to blow on a fire for a while, so it still has battery charge. And then I'm going to leave the dirt in there, because I think we can get more in there. It's really easy to put this on, so it's ready to go. And let's add this attachment here with the brush.
This is the drawer that I spilt coffee grounds in. Just push this up here out of the way. Grab our handy dandy saker. That's most of you. clean. I see some stuff around the sink area and in the sink. One good thing about this, I can use this USB cord that came with it to plug it right into the USB ports that's in my camper wall to recharge it. Okay, as you can see, I've got this emptied out. I say you just pull that filter out, give it a few bumps, and everything, and everything empties off of it. And now we are going to try airing up an air mattress and the air mattress i have will take this attachment right here and we won't be using this attachment that's for the vacuum side the mm -hmm. vacuum side is over here the blow side is going to be on the opposite side so it will mm -hmm. attach here you can see the slots where they're going to go in here and catch and it's it's on there so this is our hay trip mattress and it's a dual bladder you have a big side and a skinny side and this is the pump that we normally use to inflate it that came with the mattress but if you have the Saker Plus vacuum handy you can use it to inflate air mattresses and toys
this one off. Move it over a little bit. Now let's air up this side. I used this at camp the other weekend, this past weekend, to start a fire a couple times. I blew air on it with, hang on one second, to get a fire going I used this extension in this side and I blew low on the fire until it flared up again. It worked great. Now, since this blows out, if you get a little hot, you can use this as a fan. So I demonstrated airing up an air mattress I demonstrated it vacuuming and I said that you can use a blower attachment to blow on a fire to get that. I'll have a clip of that in this video. Uh, blow out your computer with this. There's so many things that you can use this for. If you're limited on room and you don't have room for this long attachment, you can use a shorter blow attachment. All right, so we had aired the mattress up. I undid the valves so it would naturally disperse what would come out by itself. But we want to suck that good and flat so when we fold it up, it's going to fit in the bag really easy. Fear not, Saker has come up with a little attachment that goes on the vacuum end. It just fits up in there. And then you'll use this end flat all the air is out we can put the valves back in it's ready to fold up and put away although we won't waste your time doing that right now inflate deflate air mattresses works great okay so most of your air mattresses have the big valves but when you're coming to uh, air up say kids toy or pool toy you're dealing with much smaller valves such as the case in this splash and swim cup holder very small valve so what does saker have for that they have another attachment that's going to go on the blow end line up the slots twist it on to tight and then we're just going to stick that in in there and turn it on and it airs it up i lost air because i didn't get this closed in time so let's try this again Hard to get these little ones sealed up. 
There it is. Get floating in the pool with the hand drink. Same thing here. I don't know if they thought about this or not. But it would be cool. This won't fit there. This fits there. But that don't fit over there. It would have been cool if they would have had a fitting for this suction side to where you could do this just like the air mattress and suck it out. That's working. So one thing I asked Saker do is also make this to where it will fit on the vacuum side so you can air stuff like this down. Now this did work with me keeping pressure on here. But why not make it to where this fits on there and you can deflate your float toys and stuff with this end. Unless I'm missing something. As far as I see here, this and this is the only thing that fits on the blow side. I mean on the on the suction side. So that's the only other attachment that would be nice if maybe this was rigged up to where it had notches on it to where this fitting here could go on there and twist fit onto it and then you can deflate air mattresses and toys like this with the smaller fittings. So, heads up, Saker. All in all, pretty good tool, uh, especially for a camper camp that likes to camp lakeside and has all these air toys and stuff that they need and uh, to clean up quick messes and stuff like that. This is really nice to have. And uh, I have not charged it back up. We've done all of this and I have not charged it yet. So, it's still got green light there there's other things that I could show you to use this for like cleaning your uh, desktop computer your laptop your keyboards uh, man there's just your car getting in your vents Vacuuming out the dust off of your vents. Uh, just all kinds of stuff you could use this for. But I'm going to end the video here because I think I covered the majority of what you would use it for. Uh, for the camping scenario. And uh, man, it's just handy to have. We'll keep using it see how long it lasts. I have some other products that come from Saker. And they still are working beautifully today, uh, such as chainsaw, uh, hedge trimmer, and grass clippers. And you know, they still work right now. So I've used them quite a bit. So I've been pretty happy with Saker products. And this is another one that I, I didn't think I would need until I got it. They sent it to me. And man, this is handy. So y'all check out the link in the description and go pick one of these up and go ahead and start getting ready for Christmas gifts, birthday gifts, because this is handy. It's so small. It's in a small package. It all fits in this bag that they give you. I'll go ahead and take the time. Even the instruction booklet will fit in this bag. Now, I think we'll put this in there this way. Pretty sure it'll go. Let's do it like this. There we go. And then let's slide all these tools in right there. And a 
it's all in a small package. Keep it in your car. Always have it when you need it. If the battery is low, you can plug it into your USB port in your vehicle, charge it up in no time, and you'll be ready to go. I do not have the times on how long it takes to charge this up. When I received it, it only needed to be charged up one light out of four. I believe it was four. It didn't take too long to get there, and I just haven't had to charge it again since I've been using it. I'm pretty sure we're getting down to where we're going to have to charge it soon. After airing up that air mattress, that was a lot of runtime on that. So uh, I'm very happy with this, and I right now I recommend it. So stay tuned to our channel. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed yet, because we'll be using this quite a bit. Uh, it's warm weather now, so camping's on. Tools like this are going to be used a lot, so you want to stick around and find out how long this holds up. Appreciate y'all watching. Go get you a Sacred Plus vacuum. Let's see if I can get this fire going a little bit better. I'm actually going to try the vacuum. Go a little bit smaller. So you can stand back away. I'm probably four foot from it. And there we go, we got a fire again. Little vacuum. Which I'm using opposite ends, so it's actually a blower now. So it works.